Hi everyone, I'm Photons back with another Escape from Tarkov video. Today we're going to be taking a look at solar power in the hideout. I'm going to be discussing if it's worth or not to get it in your hideout. Before we get on to the rest of the video, I want to invite you guys to check out the links down below of our Discord and our Twitch. Right now I'm level 52 on Escape from Tarkov on my cap container and we play for fun, do some viewer kits sometimes and I'd love to see you guys in the stream. Also on our Discord, we take suggestions for videos and we give announcements for uploads and streams. So I'd love to see you guys there as well. And before we get into the rest of the video, I also want to tell you guys what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be taking a look at all the numbers and my opinions and personal suggestions of the hideout and solar power to be specific. I'm going to talk about my experience with solar power and having a maxed GPU farm and how it helps me. And I'll also be giving insight for some players that are not as developed into the game, who don't have as much as money as I do, and what you should do with the solar power. So hopefully this video answers questions today. Let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to be looking at is what do we need um, for solar power in the first place? So we need five phased array elements, and we're going to be getting into that. 50,000 euros, and I'll be telling you how much that's also worth. 12 military cables and 12 military power filters. On top of that, we also need Peacekeeper level 4. So we need to do our quests and we need to level up to get Peacekeeper level 4. And we also need level 3 generator and level 3 workbench. Now, I'm not going to be going over uh, Peacekeeper level 4, level 3 gen, and level 3 workbench because those are independents that you should probably be getting by yourself for the game either way. Um, if you don't have these, then you can't, unfortunately, get solar power. And I'm not going to be going over, like I said, a generator and workbench. It, it would just take way too long because I have to go into each of the hideout components because they all branch out and go into different areas. But let's talk about how much money these four items are worth. The phase array elements, euros, military cables, and power filters. So um, here on the spreadsheet that I've used for my Bitcoin farm episode, in that video where I talked about um, how much money the Bitcoin farm actually makes with the uh, formulas, assuming that the Bitcoin farm is 750k, that is all going to be um, linked in the description along with the rest of this on the right side. Um, I did a separate video. I'll link that in the description as well and put it up on the top right if you want to check that out. But with that uh, out the way, let's talk about the solar power. So this is assuming the market prices as of today, uh, March 19th, 2021. The phase array elements are currently going for 2.25 mil. And if you put them all together uh, with the five, it's 12.25 mil. The euros, 50,000 euros equates to 7.4 million rubles. The military cables, assuming we buy them for 40 to 50K, is around 480 to 600K. And the military filters, assuming that we buy them from 70 to 100K, are gonna cost us uh, 840 to 1.2 mil. And the total would amount to 21.45 mil. And I know that's a lot of money. And um, honestly, <laughs> you're not gonna be making that money back with solar power anytime soon. So that brings us into Escape from Tarkov and let's take a look at the solar power. So one thing you should know about the solar power is in the generator, the solar power um, actually works in benefit with your personal hideout skill levels. So as you guys can see, my consumption reduced by 14% as well as my solar power reduced by 50%. So that means um, I'll show you guys here. If you go to your character, go to your skills, scroll all the way down, it shows your crafting and more importantly, your hideout management and your hideout management decreases the fuel air water filter consumption rate by 14%. So what does that mean? That just basically means you're gonna be using your fuel um, more efficiently. You'll be getting more out of your fuel. And coupled with the solar power, it can really lead to some great benefits. Um, as we see in the generator right here, mine's only halfway full, not even halfway. As you guys can see, this uh, this one's used up a little bit and I still have 120 hours to use in my <laughs> gas. And that coupled with my Bitcoin farm level three maxed out with 50 graphics cards, I make a ton of money. And that brings us into the next place where I'm going to talk about when should we use our solar power or when should we get it? So for those of you who don't know, you actually do need solar power to upgrade from level two Bitcoin farm to level three. So my suggestion is if you have level two Bitcoin farm, you have your 25 GPUs, you want to get to level three. I would highly recommend waiting off on it a little bit, making sure you get like five to 10 more graphics cards before you want to level up. So that way you can make your money most efficiently. Obviously, 21.45 mil is not a tiny amount of money that's going to take a while to make. Even with the most amount of graphics cards in the game with 50 in your Bitcoin farm, that's going to take you about seven days or a week's time to actually make that money back. And it's not going to save you that much fuel in comparison to how much you would normally be using. You guys have to understand that the Jaeger level two does sell the fuel for 150K right now for 24 hours worth. So that only means that if you have solar power, instead of spending 150K, you're now effectively going to be spending 75K for that 24 hours worth. And obviously there is some minor math with um, the hideout skill levels that I don't really want to get into because everyone's hideout skills is going to be different. 
So what does that mean? What is my suggestion? Like I said, wait off on it. Make sure you got those extra graphics cards to put those in so you can make that money back. Um, solar power is not a necessity. It's only there if you really want to complete the game and want to get to Bitcoin from level three to make a ton of money. Obviously, the upside of solar power is that you will be able to level up to level three in turn putting those extra graphics cards in to max out your bitcoin farm which then um byproduct will make you money the solar power itself won't be the one making you money neither will be saving the money on fuel but the actual graphics card farm where you'll be farming those bitcoins will and that's important to take into account because if we don't get our solar power we won't be able to have our bitcoin farm level three in turn we won't be making as much money as efficiently now obviously i am not telling you guys to rush this at all don't be buying graphics cards don't be spending a bunch of money because you will get into a deficit obviously the 21 mil is already a lot and the graphics cards right now are going for one and a half mil you're gonna be spending a lot of money on top of that you're also gonna have to spend money on leveling up your bitcoin farm which does take a lot more money as well so these are all factors to keep in mind when thinking about solar power my final suggestion is solar power is really good if you're in the higher tier of the game you have the money you have the graphics cards and you want to level up if you're thinking maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, maybe it's best to wait off on that a little bit until you have a little bit more money to be a little secure. And that can be said for a lot of different things in the game, but I think solar power is definitely one of those because it's not a minor amount of money. It's nearly 22 mil with how much the solar power will cost. So hopefully this video taught you guys something you didn't already know. Hopefully you guys will be taking this into account when you're thinking about your own solar power and Bitcoin farm. And hopefully I taught you something today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day. Peace out.